my name's Steve and I'm here at Makita UK to bring to you the DWD-181 wall scanner, which works on the 14.4 and 18 volt battery platform. So we're now going to look into the machine into some more detail. Starting off with, and the obvious thing is the 4.1 inch screen, so it is a large colour LCD screen which has all your information on there. Moving down the machine, you've got your menu or option selection button, you've got your settings button, you have your on off button, a left and right selector button, as well as your enter or select key. Nice ergonomical grip on the machine as well. It does have LED job lights, so it will light up the area you're, uh, you're working on, as well as a red laser that is emitted from the sides, which will give you a guide to follow the wall or the markings on the wall. If we turn the unit round, you can see there it's got four roller wheels to make it nice and easy to roll across whatever surface that you're scanning, as well as identification there of the centre point of the scan and the area that you'll be scanning in. At the bottom of the machine you can see the 18 volt battery or 14.4 battery slots onto the machine. Okay, so we're going to look into the features of the machine itself in more detail. So we'll start off by turning the on button on. It will take a few seconds just for the screen to load up. Um, a few other things about the machine, it is IP54 rated, so it is dust and drip proof. Um, and with a 6 amp hour 18 volt battery on, it will give you up to 28 hours runtime. So you can see now the unit itself has loaded up. On the first screen here, which would be your menu selection or option selection, you can see we've got single detection or multi-detection. So the single detection feature is one scan across the work area and it will give you one picture and one display of what you have just scanned. If we pick the multi-detection, it will give you three scans which it will join together in a layer, so it will give you a much bigger picture of the area that you're scanning. So we first off we look at the select single detection mode. So we click on the select button there. As you can see now it asks me whether I want to do dry concrete, wet concrete, a partition wall, or if I want radar view. So for this scan we're going to pick dry concrete. I now select that with the selection button. And as you can see at the top now, it's given me arrows, so it's telling me to go from left to right with the scanner, and then it's given me my depths on the side of the machine as well. So now we can scan our material to find out what in, uh, hidden obstructions we have in it. So we're now going to do a single detection scan into dry concrete looking for rebar. So place the machine down on the material, roll to the right, as you can see there, it's given me a yellow dot with an audible alarm. That is the center of my rebar. That is to the left and that is to the right of the rebar. And you can see where the dot is on the machine. That indicates how deep into the material it is. So we know we're about eight centimeters into the concrete. So that was a single detection into concrete. We're now going to go onto the multi-detection screen. So with the right arrow, highlight that in green, push the select button. Again, that now comes up with the option of dry concrete, wet concrete, partitioning, and radar view. So I'll go to partitioning for this one. You can now see as well that the grid has changed. So rather than one full bar across the screen, we now have it in three sections. So that is gonna be our free multi or our multi-scan, which is our free scans. So it's still telling us to go from left to right. What we do now is do our first scan at the top of the material. We then come below that to do our second scan and then below that line to do our third scan, which will then give us a lot more area recorded and show us what hidden obstructions are in that material. So we're now gonna have a look at that into some partition wall. So as you can see on that three stage scan, it's joined the pictures up and the left hand side 
you can see the wave pattern which is light which means it has picked up wooden pillars or wooden stud work and then to the right hand side of it you can see the waves that are a lot thicker and a lot more highlighted which is where it's found the light gauge steel so thank you for watching that was the dwd 181 wall scanner from makita uk available now